22 firefighters have been injured. At least nine residents also hurt following a massive house blaze on Staten Island. Yeah, you can see thick smoke pouring here from the duplex. Moments later, the rear of one of the homes collapsed while firefighters were inside. Three of the 22 firefighters are in critical but stable condition this morning. Investigations into what could have sparked the flames continuing this morning. The incident happening on Shotwell Avenue in Arden Heights. And that's where we find PIX 11's Michelle Ross with the latest on this tragic story. And Michelle, I, I know that wind was being talked about a lot when it came to these firefighters trialing to blattle the blaze. Yes, it's what accelerated the outcome of this fire. Now, there are still police officers and members of the FDNY still on scene here. The fire started in the back of this home, but we're here in front of the home. You can see that the windows have been blown out. There's also an American flag flying in the wind. Now, the colors of our flag are usually bright colors of red, white, and blue. It is now tainted with soot. And the outcome of this fire was not ideal by any means. 22 firefighters hurt, three of them seriously injured, but the FDNY says it could have been a lot worse. I cannot emphasize enough that this was a very close call for the FDNY. We could have lost three members today. High winds and black smoke making it difficult for FDNY firefighters to put out this four alarm blaze on Staten Island Friday night. You couldn't even see yourself. It was so black with smoke. It was ridiculous. It went up like it went fast. The fire started just before 1.30 in the afternoon behind this duplex home on Shotwell Avenue in the Arden Heights section. Firefighters responded in less than four minutes, but the fire already spread to the home next door. There was a heavy wind condition at the fire. So as the firefighters were inside searching for occupants, uh, the windows failed and the wind blew the fire intensely into the into the building right at the firefighters. A heartbreaking and painful day for the Polizzi family who lived in the home and are now displaced. Neighbors plan to organize a fund to help them out. It's very kind of them. I really appreciate it. Our neighbors have been wonderful. Um, right now, to be honest with you, we're kind of in shock a little bit still. We haven't unwound yet. But I do appreciate anything that they'll do, that they were doing. They want to know what can they do for you? They, they did everything. They came out, they, they, they tried to support us as best they could. You know, what else can we ask for? Now, those three firefighters suffered serious injuries of smoke inhalation and burns. The mayor visited them in the hospital. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. We're live this morning in the Arden Heights section on Staten Island. Michelle Ross, PIX11 News.